Hi, my name is Aptif and welcome to Learn Android Studio series. In this video, we will learn some important shortcut keys of Android Studio. So, let's start by opening the project in Android Studio. First shortcut key is to format the code. All you need to do is for Windows, press Ctrl Alt L, and for Mac OS, you need to do Command Option L. This will format and align all your code in the file or selected code okay let's move to the second shortcut key that is used to expand and collapse the code so place the cursor anywhere in the function or the class that you want to expand or collapse after that just press the command plus dot for mac os and for windows os you need to press control dot and that's it now let's move to the third shortcut key that is used to comment or uncomment the code. For single line comment, select the code and click Ctrl plus backslash. And for Mac OS, press Command plus backslash. This will comment the code and if you do that again, it will uncomment. For multi line command, you need to press Ctrl Shift backslash. And for Mac OS, Command Shift backslash. Let's move to the next shortcut key that is used to generate the constructor and getter setter. For Windows, press Ctrl N and for Mac OS, you need to press Command N. From the options, you need to choose the constructor. Choose the required parameters and click OK. This will generate the constructor. Similarly, for the getter and setter, you need to choose the option getter and setter. Choose the parameters and click OK. This will generate the getter and setter for selected variables. Now let's do the same for the Kotlin class. Press the shortcut key and click secondary constructor. Choose parameters and click OK. Now let's move to the next shortcut key that is used to rename the class, variable, function, or file. Manually, we need to right click, click refactor, and then click rename. So instead, we will use the shortcut key that is Shift plus F6 for both Windows and Mac OS. After modifying the name, just press Enter. It will change everywhere it is being used. So far, we have changed the name of the class. And next, we will change the name of the variable using the same shortcut key. So select the name of the variable and press Shift plus F6. Modify the name and press enter it will change the name of the variable everywhere it is being used so basically you can change the name of the variable function class or file using that shortcut key the next shortcut key is to search anything from the project just press the shift key twice quickly and it will open our dialog with search option this feature of android studio is really important because you can find any layout file, class file, or any other type of file, variable, or string from your project. So, all you need to do is to press the shift key twice, either you are working in Windows or Mac OS. Okay, now let's move to the next shortcut key that is used to select the specific portion of multiple lines of code. If you do that without using the shortcut key, it will select all lines from the start to the end but what if you want to select only the code instead of the comments in that case while selecting the code you need to press the alt key if you are working on windows and if you are working on mac OS, then you need to press the option key while selecting the code similarly if you want to change the initials of the variable names then you will use that shortcut key to do that easily okay now let's move to the next shortcut key that is used to duplicate the single or multiple lines of code without copy paste. When we do that manually, we need to select the code, copy, and then paste. So we can do that uh, using the shortcut key. Place the cursor to the line that you want to duplicate and press Ctrl plus T if you are working on Windows. And if you are working on Mac OS, then you need to press Command plus D. And that's it. Now the next shortcut key is uh, used to enclose the selected code with if else, try catch or loop. Just select the code and press Ctrl Alt T 
T. If you are working on macOS, then you need to press the command option T. It will show all options that are available with this shortcut key. Now the next shortcut key is uh, also really important. This can be used for class, variable, or function. For example, if you use the shortcut key for the class name, it will show all usages of this class in all projects. All you need to do is press Ctrl plus P or Ctrl plus click. If you are working on Mac OS, then you need to press Command plus B or Command plus click. You can use that shortcut key to jump to the definition or declaration of the class, variable, or function. Okay, now let's try another shortcut key that is used to run the project directly. Just press the button Shift plus F10, or if you are working on Mac OS, then you need to press Ctrl plus R. This will run the project on connected device. Okay, now let's move to the next shortcut key that is used to fix the errors or to import the required class. Place the cursor on the error and press the Alt plus Enter key. Or if you are working on Mac OS, then you need to press Option plus enter so far we have used the shortcut key to import the class now we will use that shortcut key to fix the error place the cursor on the error and press the shortcut key it will show the possible solutions okay enough for now let me know in comment section which key you like the most and also if you want more videos like that 